I was watching a lot of different people yesterday and it was live streaming. I didn't have a capacity for it because, you know, I got a daughter, I got a family, I got stuff that I do when I'm not on the internet. And so we stream about four hours a day, about four, depending on what day of the week it is. We got the weekends off for the most part. Um, but I seen a lot of people when they was live streaming what was happening in Dalton, Illinois, right? And they telling me that the people won't, Wealth Building Journey is saying it, Super Mayor Tiffany Henyard to step down. They said that the people was on her head top, that she couldn't avoid uh, being accountable to the people. I want to see what's going on. Make sure y'all hit a like for the algorithm, subscribe to the channel, uh, and turn on your notifications. Sparks fly inside a packed village hall in South Suburban Dalton. Residents confronting embattled Mayor Tiffany Henyard. They say they want answers about Henyard, an unnamed village trustee, and a controversial trip to Las Vegas last May. NBC 5's Regina Waldrop in Dalton tonight with the story. It was a packed village board meeting, but there were still people outside who could not get in. They were banging on doors, windows, chanting. And with that in mind, four trustees abruptly walked out, and this meeting was adjourned. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Why y'all banging on? Y'all ain't got no home training? Y'all don't have no home training? I know that y'all don't agree with Tiffany Hingard. I don't agree with Tiffany Hingard either, but y'all out there banging on windows? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You could do better than this. You could do better than this. Gam Gam would be disappointed on y'all banging on windows without no home training. Stop. It's not that deep. You can tap into the meeting on the internet or you can get there early and make sure you get a seat inside of the hall. Stop banging on the windows. It's not that deep. Climbing on furniture. I'm still speaking. You're out of order, clerk. You out of order. In Dalton Monday night, a chaotic village board meeting. It got underway an hour late because of a credible threat, according to police. Only a limited number of residents were let into the building, and they had to pass through a metal detector. Those who were not let in protested outside. A short time later, the meeting abruptly ended when four trustees walked out. The Open Meetings Act requires that the uh, that we have enough space for everybody to get in. Uh, because of that, I feel we have a lot of outrage going on out there, and we want to be able to provide the space to people that they are looking for. This is the residents' home, and any time you can't come in, it's a problem. During public comment, a number of residents outraged because of the alleged misuse of village funds, lawsuits, and other issues called on the mayor to step down. Down. We don't want you here. You are your administration. Y'all need to go. Mayor, you might. Now, 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 listen, listen. Let's look at it from both sides here. Let's look at it from both sides. First of all, y'all can't say that it's not a credible threat because this chick is on the internet. Let's just be honest. All right. I'm not against metal detectors anywhere. And so if they going to wind you down, because it is some crazy people out here, if they going to wind you down, I'm not, I don't have a problem with that. That's number one. Number two, the other side of it is y'all voted her in. Y'all the ones that I believe that the people over there in Dalton actually deserve her. As bad as she is. As much as y'all loved her and y'all was rocking with her, now y'all turned against her and y'all the ones that voted her in. Y'all advocated for her. Listen, she won with like an 83% voter turnout. I mean, 83% uh, of the vote. Low voter turnout rate. But she won with the majority of the vote. How y'all going to sit here and get and, and get angry about the thing that y'all advocated for? You wanted her. You got Brandon Johnson in Chicago. You got, uh, what's her name? Karen Bass over there in L.A. You got Gavin Newsom in California. You got Eric Adams in New York. You got the Atlanta mayor. You got all of these liberal cities and these liberal mayors and these people that y'all voted in based off of diversity, equity, and inclusion. She not no different than what she was when she was advocating for what she doing now. What you thought that she wasn't saying that she was going to be the super this and all of that. She was on social media. Y'all could have researched her from the very beginning. Listen, listen. I'm not saying people should be okay with misconduct. I'm being objective enough to look at it and say, 
somebody does not win 80, 83% of the vote, and y'all said that y'all wanted people in based off of representation, diversity, equity, and inclusion, at what point do the people also take accountability for who they voted in? It's two sides to this. Two things can be true at the same time. She could be absolutely one of the worst people ever, but then at the same time, you can't say that the people didn't advocate for her. You get both. You get a trash mayor, who I think is an absolute trash mayor, but I also believe, why do people that vote liberal and based off of identity politics then want somebody else to come and save them? Save yourself. Save yourself. Oh, you don't think we've been through it here in Detroit? We absolutely have been through it here in Detroit. We absolutely have been through it here in Detroit. Absolutely, 100%. And I said, okay, well, we get whatever it is that we voted for. This is what we advocated for. This is what we voted for. This is what we got to live with until we get another opportunity to vote the next time. And so we get an opportunity to vote the next time. We got to get it right. We got to learn from our mistakes. We got to do. Sometimes you need to suffer through your own decisions and nobody need to be able to bail you out. If the people didn't get, get to experience this in Dalton and across America, how are they going to learn the lesson unless they go through it? How are you going to learn the lesson unless you go through it? You're going to keep doing the same thing you've been doing. Save yourself. Save yourself. Save yourself. You got yourself into this mess, now get yourself out of it. Now shout out to all of the trustees for holding her accountable, doing their job, taking care of business. The people can advocate and say whatever it is that they want to say, and I don't disagree with a lot of what they're saying, but at the same time, I have to say, hey, you chose them. The same way that they hold, we hold these women accountable, and we say, hey, why are you complaining about your baby daddy? He ain't no different. Why you had three kids by him when the first one didn't turn out good? He didn't marry you after the first one. Why you have another kid by him? Oh, it's my baby daddy fault. No, you chose him. You chose him. Hold on. Let me unplug and plug back up. I ain't struggle streaming. I'm getting there. Yeah. You chose him. That's your man. That's your man's in them. That's your man's in them. Let me get my camera fixed. They don't want me to get my camera fixed. Let me play this. I as well step down too. You know, because I'm tired of that too. You know, this is a disgrace that you have done to this village. In battle, Dalton Mayor Tiffany Hanyard and a village trustee who's not named are at the center of an investigation by the Illinois Department of Human Rights. The probe is focused on what allegedly happened on an economic development trip to Las Vegas last May. Hanyard's former assistant who filed this complaint claims she was sexually assaulted by an unnamed Dalton trustee on that trip. She claims she was then later fired from her job. In a statement, the village told NBC5 it conducted a thorough investigation into the allegations led by an independent third-party company. The statement goes on to say this is nothing more than a disgruntled village employee trying to make off with the taxpayers' hard-earned dollars. Now, the village board meeting continued on for a little while with only the mayor and one trustee in attendance. Uh, April 8th, that's when they hope this meeting will resume. Reporting from Dalton, I'm Regina Waldrop, NBC5 News. Regina, thank you. I am a wife. I'm a mother of three children. My children and my family are suffering because of this loss. And Dalton police, the detectives, have been sitting around twiddling their fingers on this case. This is hurtful. When I've been in contact, I've been asking questions. I've been in contact with the state's attorney's office. I'm pushing this case. I've had the Crime Stoppers come out to do additional work canvassing the neighborhood, to assist the police, and nothing has been done. My husband, Tavares Edward Davis, deserves justice. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Wilson. is it one more? Wilson. All right, um, thank you for your public comment. Next on the agenda is general announcements. Do anybody have any general announcements? Um, yes, ma'am. All right, go ahead. Okay, um, I hear a lot of the outrage and I think a lot of it is just around um, having a space that can accommodate and I'm concerned also that there may be some violations of Open Meetings Act because we need to have a space when we know that there's 
uh, this many people. Um, as such, I'm going to make a motion that we postpone this meeting and continue the agenda to Monday, April 8th, a week from today at 6.30, Dalton Park District 14700 Evers. So that is my motion. Um, trustee? Second. We are not postponing a meeting. We are Did you here. Get my second clerk? And basically, we have two items on the agenda. So we can basically we continue with our meeting and get through the two items that's on the meeting. So my advice to the board is we are already here. Let's handle the business and not let the business handle you guys. We're not having no meeting at no Aye. Dalton Park District. So I'm just, just making that crystal clear. Clerk, what are you doing? You're out of order. you out of order. Did I call the road? Did I say call the road? I'm still speaking. You're out of order, Clerk Key. you out of order, Clerk Key. Like, stop. Y'all out of order. Everybody want to run stuff. Y'all don't run this house over here. Stop, please. So, as I was stating, we need to continue with the business. We are here. People came to a meeting to hear what we have been doing in our village. The department heads, the lawyer, everyone's I'm to call here. The vote. So, I'm asking for you guys to Hi. sit Tammy here Brown. and to deal with what's going on. Trustee Tammy Brown. And that's the problem that we have. Now, wonder why we have this function. This is the reason. So, Trustee Belch. How come can't anybody um, be quiet long enough to actually hear what anybody else is saying? That's my only complaint. Why is it so much? Like, why, why, why can't, yo, they need to get some control in there. Seriously. Like, for real. Mute everybody mics and then turn on the mics as y'all needed or whatever, so on and so forth. But, yo, how come can't nobody actually talk? I can't hear nothing. No matter what happens, regardless if you agree or disagree with her, you got to be quiet. You can't hear nothing if everybody, I don't care if people upset. That don't mean nothing to me. And time, but people are upset. So, okay, so why y'all in a meeting then? Do y'all know how a meeting works? I talk, you talk, you disagree, get your thoughts off. I say whatever it is that I say, and then we go back and then we break it down on the live stream. I want to hear what's going on. If y'all walk out, y'all walk out. We got business to have. Okay. All right, so go ahead, go ahead, handle your business, and we gonna handle ours. This is a clown show. This is a clown show. All right. What the heck is going on? Power to the people. Power to the president. They don't want nothing. you going to do something you do. If I can't, I can't. Is that my girl? Oh, that's not him. I thought that was B Nicks for a minute. <laughs> I thought that was B Nicks. Y'all remember B Nicks? Don't worry about it. Well, the meeting was adjourned because we have to have enough space. So we have to. Uh, the Open Meetings Act requires that the uh, that we have enough space for everybody to get in. Uh, because of that, I feel we have a lot of outrage going on out there, and we want to be able to provide the space to people that they are looking for. Uh, Monday, May 8th. Monday, May 8th. Monday. I'm sorry. Monday, April 8th, 6:30 p.m. Dalton Park District. Yes. Um, well, we're trying to listen to the outcries of residents, and I think it's very disappointing. Yes. 
everyone's frustrated at the moment. You're violating the ordinances, you're violating the residents' rights. They deserve, this is their house. This is the residents' home. And any time you can't come in, it's a problem. This is crazy, bro. This is insane. This is insane. This is bad. This is very, very, very bad. This is a bad look for everybody. I don't think that anybody comes out of this and they're the winners. I don't see no winners in this. I think that it's – all right, let me look at it from both perspectives and then we're going to move over into the next thing. On one hand, you have a mayor that's not – that's bad at her job, right? And she's not going to resign, though. She's not going to walk away. And the reason that she's not going to walk away is because it's, it's her job. It's the only way for her to bring in resources. That's it. She's been getting the bag. Her total compensation probably exceeds 300000 when you look at the benefits and everything that come with it. And so she's not going to step down. All of these people that are saying, oh, my God. I want you to step down, get a position back. Mm, no, she's not going to do that. I knew that from the very beginning that she's not going to step down. Where else she going to go to where she making probably close to $300,000 in total compensation between two positions? So regardless of how much she messed up the city budget, she's going to fight for the position because that's the thing that pays her and takes care of her lifestyle and her family, and then she can do what she want to do when she want to do it. And so until you take her out by voting her out of there, or if she left walking out in handcuffs, she's not, she's not going to leave. But y'all think that she got a bag put up somewhere and all of this? That ain't, that ain't happening. She's not going to go out. Now, on the other side of it, it looks horrible. A horrible display from the community all the way across the board. And why? Because this is the thing that y'all get when you don't participate, when you're not informed. You put her in this position. Forget the optics. Forget the Photoshop. Forget the Instagram pictures. Forget the podcast that she got going on and all of that. This is what y'all asked for. This is what y'all asked for. So Maybe y'all going to be more informed than the city of Dalton the next time that y'all decide that y'all want to just rock out with somebody based off of the fact that they got some, some weave in their head and they look like you. Now your property taxes is going up. You ain't got no power. Listen, you can go out there and protest all you want. You can have your bullhorns. You can do all of that. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, you have no power. At all. The power that you had was at the polls. to determine. And see, this time, you can't sit there and blame it on the white man. You can't blame it on the system. You can't say, well, my vote don't matter. From a local perspective, it matters more than it does on a national scale. Who is going to raise your taxes? Who is the person that decides the millages? Who is the person that's going to pay the bills? And who the person that's going to go over to Vegas and do whatever it is that they're doing? It matters. It matters. Every single person that represents you, and if they're in an office, then they're a reflection of you in your city. And you can't just keep running because you ain't got nowhere to go. You too poor to move. You can't, you can't go. No. Where you going to go? Where you going to go? You ain't got no skills. The average income, respectfully, Per person or per household unless it's, it's less than $30,000. Where you going to go? Where you going to go? And even if you leave, you're going to take your same ha habits and your voting patterns with you. Fix your own, fix your household. People need to stop running. 
People need to stop running and start taking accountability for the circumstance that they put themselves in. Hey, stop running away from the thing that you created. You put her in there, that's yours. You put her in there, she yours. That's your mayor. Not my mayor, that's your mayor. That's your mayor. You didn't participate. You didn't want to show up at the polls. You voted for her. Now you're sitting there complaining about it. Okay, well, then complain about it, but talk to her. And then when she say, talk to the hand, not the foot, <laughs> I will be laughing. I'm just telling you the truth. I'm just going to keep it real. See, I'm not going to sit here and tell you what you want to hear. 